You all right? <laughs> so, um, my mum used to collect bonsai trees. And uh, one night, her favourite bonsai got nicked out of our back garden. And she was really upset. So, the next morning, I got up extra early and I went all around town putting missing tree posters on all the cats. <laughs> Good evening to North Down. Uh, my name's William Stone, uh, or as I'm known in Europe, William 6.35 kilograms. <laughs> now, uh, I'm not normally one to brag, but I've got this friend, right? <laughs> What else can I tell you? Uh, I don't have any pets. Uh, that I know of. Uh, uh, I did have a cat when I was little though. Uh, we called her Boots because she had the most adorable little chain of chemists. <laughs> Ever since I was a little kid, uh, I wanted to go to Disneyland, meet Mickey Mouse. Last summer, finally got to go. And it was dressed down Friday. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely guy, though. <laughs> uh, I saved up to go to Disneyland when I was working as a security guard at a scented candle factory. Uh, one night it caught fire and I was too relaxed to do anything about it. <laughs> well, it's nice to be here in London. Uh, I got the train in this evening. Uh, now, I'm not saying I'm a total legend. <laughs> However, <laughs> uh, I did give up my seat for someone on the train. Thanks. <laughs> uh, if I'm being honest, I wasn't really sure how to drive it. <laughs> I got the train in from Brighton, where I live. It's uh, quite a fashionable place, as you can tell. <laughs> Everyone in Brighton's into ethical shopping. Wherever you go, you'll see organic this, fair trade that. Don't get me wrong, I do think that's good. But it's definitely gone a bit far when even your dentist is going on about local anaesthetic. <laughs> There's a restaurant on my road serves food with an Asian twist. <laughs> now, if you don't know what that is, it's the politically correct term for a Chinese burn. <laughs> I don't think I'll ever make enough salads to justify having a dressing room. <laughs> I eat a lot of microwave meals at home. Uh, they always say on the box, pierce lid in several places. Who's got time for that? I just do it in the kitchen. <laughs> uh, I do a lot of cooking when I'm drunk, uh, which really annoys the chef at Weatherspoons. <laughs> no, I've, never, I've never been very good at cooking. I always get something wrong. But it's like my mum always says to me, William, you can't make an omelette <laughs> well, you guys have been lovely. Um, before I go, um, I'd just like to do the other half of my set. <laughs> uh, have we got any other lads in? You'll like this one. <laughs> I put the ass in casserole. <laughs> uh, that's a short story about how I lost my job at Weatherspoons. Um, so I had a pretty normal childhood. Uh, two parents, both unplanned. Um, me and my mum were really close when I was growing up. Uh, every year for my birthday, she would lay on a buffet which made it really hard to eat. <laughs> uh, 
my dad was a, a funeral director. Uh, nothing you'd have seen. I grew up in uh, quite a rural place. Uh, people think that everyone in the countryside is really friendly. Not true. There's a lot of passive aggression in the countryside. There's a, a farm in the village I grew up in, and at the end of their driveway, they had this massive sign that said, Pick your own strawberries! <laughs> Got any other lads in? <laughs> Don't you hate those guys who look at you all weird when you sit too close to them at the urinal? <laughs> Thanks a lot, Abby William Stone. Cheers. <laughs>